Hello, my name is Basit Yusuf. I am working as a postdoctoral fellow with Dr. Sandra Ramirez at Canadian Blood Services. Today, I'll be giving my poster presentation on the topic entitled Metabolomic and Flow Cytometry Analysis of Related Concentrates Spiked with Staphylococcus aureus Revealed Significant Modulation in Platelet Functionality. Now, going to the background of the study, platelet concentrates. Now, I'll be referring them as PCs represent an essential transfusion medicine to treat bleeding disorders. However, PCs occasionally get contaminated with skin residing bacteria during venipuncture at the time of blood collection. Staphylococcus aureus has been reported to be one of the predominant bacterial contaminants in PCs. So our research question was to understand the Staph aureus platelet interaction and its impact on platelet functionality and metabolism. We performed a targeted metabolomic and flow cytometry analysis in which PCs were spiked with CBS 2016 uh, strain. This uh, strain was, uh, this strain has previously escaped PC screening detection and caused septic transfusion reaction. So our research methodology was uh, we obtained PC units from NetCAD Vancouver and uh, spiked PCs uh, were exposed to two different CBS 2016 concentrations, one to the power six and uh, zero to 10 CFP per bag. Samples were collected at 0, 24, 48, 72, and 144 hours. For metabolomics analysis, we uh, processed the spiked and non-spiked PC samples uh, for metabolite extraction using bead beating method. And then metabolites were quantified using mass spectrometer equipped with uh, high performance LC. For flow cytometry analysis, we use three uh, markers CD41 alpha, which is a platelet glycoprotein marker, and uh, CD62P, platelet activation, and anexin V, which is an apoptotic marker. Now, going to the results, we observed a strong modulation in the uh, metabolome of the PCs, as you can see here in the figure A. Uh, in this experiment, we spiked the PCs with uh, 7 to the power 5 CFU per bag, and um, at 24 hours, it was vector concentration was 7 to the power 8. And as you can see here, the highly down regulated and upper regulated metabolites. In the parallel experiment, we spiked the PCs with uh, 0 to, uh, 1 to 10 CFP per bag, and here the modulation in the metabolites occurs at 48 hour onwards, and of course at 144 hour the modulation was higher. Uh, interestingly, aspartic acid, dihydroauretic acid, and aurotic acid were highly upregulated at all three time points, as you can see here, and. Uh, and these can be explored further for metabolic markers for bacterial contamination. Now going to the flow cytometry results, we sparked the PCs with two, with one to the power six uh, CFE per ml uh, CBS216 strain. As you can see here at uh, 24 hour, there was not much, uh, little, very little difference between the markers. However, at 48 hour and 144 hour, there was highly significant increase in the expression of CD62P, as you can see here, and also in the phosphatidyl serine detected by annexin V. In the parallel experiment, we spiked the PCs with zero CFE per bag, as you can see here, up to 48 hour, no difference in the uh, percentage of uh, markers. However, at 72 hour, you see here the 3.5 fold increase in the expression of CD62P and uh, 27.3 fold increase in the phosphatidyl serine platelets. Interestingly, CD41 alpha was uh, down regulate 1.8 fold at 144 hour. In conclusion, Staphylococcus aureus induces the substantial metabol metabolome change especially in concentration dependent manner. It also uh, act, uh, leads to the increase in the activation and also uh, the decrease in the CD41 alpha expression, thus possibly causing platelet dysfunction or uh, possibly apoptosis. Uh, so in order to confirm these observations, we are looking ahead to go with the um, platelet mitochondrial mass membrane potential analysis, which will be done with mitotracker and TMRE scanning respectively. 
Uh, at the end, I would like to acknowledge volunteers for blood donors, NetCat for PC processing, Canadian Blood Services, Ken for their support. I thank you for coming to visit my post today. Uh, I thank you so much.